Hey fisherman, Aquadolus here, and there's a budget deck recently that has just caught in my eye, and McColl40 did a video on it about a month ago, and uh, I think it's like Team Yada Locked did um, a couple videos on it, where with one of them he literally beats a Dogmatica Invoke deck uh, using the exact same deck as my as the deck profile McCall for, uh, McCall 40 used and uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about I'm talking about appliances like this deck man this is some crazy stuff I managed to get a full core here from a trade so I'm pretty happy honestly like I was just kinda I, I skipped over these back when the Bows of Legends came uh, Last year's Battles of Legends came out. Like, I was not interested in these. I just kind of ignored them. But after McCool's 40 video of, you know, just showing the de this $5 deck that somebody took to the locals and got third place with, I said, okay. It's got my attention. And, you know, after, upon looking at the deck, you know, the deck and at appliances themselves, you know, the full core costs three bucks, and for what's there, it's kind of insane. But not only that, but there's actually a couple of cards coming out that are actual indirect support that are just insane for this deck. And I think one of the biggest things about this deck is it's got some just insanely powerful spells. <clears throat> you have a field spell that's a, sur a searcher, and has a little bit of recyclability, if I remember correctly. You have one that's literally a monster reborn, and then puts monster uh, puts the monsters back into the deck instead of you know them going grave, and then you also have uh, somewhat of a soul charge for your link monsters, which is kind of cool, and you know it's kind of crazy the fact that literally all those cards are kind of searchable, like the field spell you know you you got terraforming for and all, but the field spell search is literally any appliance or card, which is pretty freaking insane. Um, and I'm not just gonna, you know, say this this deck is straight up the best thing ever, but I mean, for what it is, it's actually really cool and it's very very intriguing. So, one of the things I kind of want to, you know, uh, talk about real quick is, you know, I said there's new cards that's coming out that indirectly supports this deck. And uh, one of them is in uh, Lightning Overdrive, which came out today. <clears throat> I think it's called like One Curry Way. It's basically a monster reborn for uh, Link Ones. So there you go. This deck officially is going to have access to seven copies of Monster Reborn. Um, three of the Appliancer one, three of the uh, the One Curry Way. I think that's what it's called. And then Monster Reborn. Then you also have, you know, the other one that's kind of like a soul charge almost. But not on top of that too, in the Animation Chronicles set, which, you know, is not even out in the OCG yet, which hopefully we get, or something close to it. Um, we have a, a card, I can't pronounce the name of it, but basically you tap a monster with zero attack from, you know, your deck to hand. You know, you, you pay half your life points. Uh, you can't use that monster's effects until you either normal summon that monster or, or a monster of the same name or, you know, until the end of your next turn. So, you know, that's like, you're going to, whatever you're going to grab, you're going to normal summon. So that's, like, freaking cool. Like, that's, you know, just the life point costs don't matter. So that adds some consistency to the deck, which, you know, it's it's really just surprising. Like, huh. That's some pretty good stuff for, you know, this three, three dollar, you know, half a deck and extra deck right here. Like that's pretty insane. And I'm not gonna say these are the best things ever, but definitely, definitely worth uh, picking up. Honestly, thinking about you know what two cards that I just mentioned are coming out. Not to mention you know what else can come out to support this deck. Um. It's really, really interesting. So, um, now that I kind of, you know, kind of hyped it up a little bit, I kind of want to point out the bad, the few bad things about it that I, you know, kind of suck. 
Uh, first thing I want to say, monsters, um, <clears throat> other than two, all have zero attack, zero defense. So yeah, that kind of sucks. Um, but you know, you got uh, the link to add some uh, attack to you know your other clients or so that's that's uses co-link too so that's pretty nice um and the other thing that sucks is the fact that the link the links can't be used for link material to turn their summoned if that restriction wasn't there this deck would be like just freaking bonkers but I think that's really what's key you know that that's a huge thing it's definitely keeping us from being you know like a tier one deck or whatever I don't even know what the heck this deck would be. It's probably like tier 3, as people would say. But, I don't know. I don't pay attention to the tier system. I don't care. I play what I like. So, so yeah, guys. Like, honestly, appliances aren't too bad. Definitely worth looking at. Um, I hope, you know, I kind of brought a little bit more attention to it. Uh, I'm actually really excited to mess with these things. Like, I'm going to have some fun here. I kind of want to try and build the $5 uh, budget experience, honestly, one time just to see how it is. Like, I'm very curious to see if I can, you know, top, top my locals with. But I also kind of want to, you know, folk, you know, do like a, a $20 build as well. I think that's what I want to go for, like, as far as, like, you know, deck profile and such. Because I am, I'm definitely going to be deck profiling these guys at some point. Um, got a couple of decks I gotta, I want to do, but I'm waiting for, you know, Lightning Overdrive to come out. Uh, there's like three decks I want to, there's like three decks I want to play, and I'm literally waiting on uh, any uh, Lightning Overdrive. So yeah, kind of sucks, but at least that's outright, you know. Came out today, so I can have, you know, get the cards and have those up in, or, you know, deck profiles up within a few weeks so that'd be cool whenever I get those in but yeah guys uh definitely should check out appliances like honestly for three bucks like you're not missing my, you know like you're not really losing anything on this for three dollars like this is not 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 bad little pickup definitely something worth fun you know playing around with and um Guys, don't forget to harpoon that subscribe button, harpoon that like button, really would help the channel out. And uh, how many comments y'all have? Like, honestly, how many of you actually, how many of you actually read these cards when they came out? Because I, I was one of the ones that just, just did not care, didn't read them or anything when I pulled them. I just basically tossed, tossed them aside and, you know, some people got them off me, so yeah. But uh, yeah, guys, I will see y'all in the next video.